Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Big Brother 5000 and welcome back to some more Master Detective Archives Rain Code. In the last episode we had to think like the killer and uh, in the spooky mansion we needed to figure out uh, how to use string in order to prop the body up and throw the key under the body. And we did. It was pretty awesome. I, I like these puzzles. And um, these guys are probably going to say the same exact thing. But who knows? We're, we're going to jump right back into it. The time is money. I'm sure Halar is thinking that very thing right now. So. Hmm. The mansion study was quite an elaborate locked room. Except. Yeah, but what we know so far isn't enough to pinpoint who the culprit is. Calm down. We're only part way through the labyrinth. Even if we solve everything at the last second, it's still solved. That's right. And we were able to eliminate one person. The big guy. Because he's not able to fit through the vent in the casino. Hey! Now, where's the next solution key? Master, come on down and solve the mansion lock room. Next to next up to win big. Halara. Saving the day. It's a new me. <sighs> okay, what are you even imitating? <laughs> we are the first three contestants on the Scythe is Right. <laughs> Alright, moving on. You're a big fan of the Price is Right there, Yuma? Shinigami is. <sighs> Looks like we finally made it to the treasure chest. Speaking of, don't you think that whoever worked the hardest should get to open it? You're going to be opening all of them, I'm imagining, Shinigami. Oh, which is me. Think of all the work the animators would have to put in if each of us opened the chest. Yep, that's how it looked. And the rest of the dolls is just to throw us off. This is probably another clue leading to the culprit. I'm not sure how we use it. Still, it must be used for something. Hold on to it for now. Got it. It will prove... Useful later. The more mysteries let's are solved, the, the more free they get. Yes, let's solve the rest. We're just flying around. Right. Only got one more. Let's get to it. People hanging from the trees, creepy. The last one, number three. Their locked room was a murder that happened. One month ago, in the art gallery storage in Ginma district. Yeah, so far we've gone in order, but we've done the most recent one first. So. Pictures and paint were scattered all around the spot where a woman was boom killed. It's boom killed. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. Let's get it done. Are you going to the third locked room? You got it, creepy doll. It's the only place I can go. I'm pretty excited to solve this mystery. This is intense, but uh, we're doing pretty good. We've lost a, a fair amount of health. Not too bad, I would say. Uh, did we get stuck inside a locked room again? This happens every time. This was the corpse that was discovered by that worshiper and the art gallery employee. And there are two keys in this scenario. At the time of discovery, the door was locked, and the key was nailed to a doll inside the room. So here's the thinking I'm going to go forward with, is that they were all strangled. I'm going to set that as my focus. And the strings that are being used is simply to adjust some things in the room. Aside from the door, the only other entrance is the window, but... It opens just enough to fit a finger in. The frame in itself is too small for even a child to squeeze through. I forgot to check my solution keys. How did the culprit vanish from here? Oh. What did the culprit free from? Well, let's... Oh, I can check my solution keys this time. What happened last time? So let's just go over everything we know. So mansion, mansion, mansion. Our gallery. Here we go. It's corpse. That's right. Blunt floor. 
Force. I'm sorry. Blunt force trauma to the back of the head. Point to the real cause of death. Got slammed in the back of the head. Oh, that's right. The key was nailed right in the middle of this doll. And the other key was with the employee. That's how they got inside. Two keys can open the door to the art gallery storage room. It's inside the room. It's just the art gallery. Right. So it is definitely a possibility that string could be used again. But we need to figure out how. And we heard that the uh, fanatic was the one who knocked over the paint. Was he trying to cover something up? It could have been an accident, but it's still a solution key. Did you try and hide something, my dude? Oh, that's right. Instead of a doll, they used this instead. I'm imagining string was used again. Let's figure out this painting. Wait a second. It's on the floor. So if we really believe that the employee had the other key. So in this case, it wouldn't be fleeing the the culprit was just always outside. Never came into the room. That's what's cooking in my head. That's a... Uh, <laughs> I think the culprit was just... Was always outside. Mistake. Hmm. Ah. It's too small for a person to pass through. Right, but I'm assuming that they weren't in the room, so... This indicates that they were actually inside. That paint right here. Wait, hold on a second. Let me try something. Sorry, oh, sorry, every, every of you get sick. Sorry. Um, for some odd reason... Let me go a little bit slower. Take a look at different things. No, it lets me go that time. Sometimes it doesn't let me go all the way around. So let me look. Yeah, no, that's never moved. All right, it would have to be the door. I'm overthinking again, but I imagine it's the door. I'm, I, in that case, I think it's the Here. door. Yeah, okay. I think the culprit could have only escaped from here, but... I th but... I... Is it possible that the culprit never even made it inside the room to begin with? Is that too out there? Hmm... Nothing's happening. Maybe you made a mistake, Master. No, that can't be right. It's impossible for anyone to squeeze through that window. They could have only gotten out through the door. So the key here is to not think too far ahead in the puzzle. I still think the culprit still being outside is still on the table, but for the time, we need to be on this level and think the way they're thinking. How'd they escape? The most logical explanation would be the door. I'm sure the culprit had the key and locked the door from the outside after committing the crime. That's right, they still need to lock the door. Unless the door was locked when the person was in here. Let's continue. Let me stop jumping to conclusions. The culprit just used a copy of the key? Would that really be considered a locked room mystery? Well, there are only two keys to the storage space and the design makes them impossible to duplicate. I learned that thanks to you, Halara. One of the keys is always carried by that one employee. It was used when the body was first discovered, right? 
And the only other key was nailed through a doll onto a painting. So, it is a locked room mystery! Right? Right? Oh, that's totally it. I see. I suppose you could call it that. It doesn't matter what it's called. Person's dead. Hey, Yuma. Can you go check outside of that window? Again? Oh, just like before. Before? Oh, that's right. You don't remember. Yeah. You made me do the same thing in the real world when we were investigating this place. I see. Then the answer has already been confirmed. Very well. This locked room is solved. But you're not going to tell me. Huh? Wait. Did you already solve this mystery? You haven't? Um... How about you go and check outside the window? Then even you will see. <laughs> the labyrinth is listening to Halara. Even the labyrinth knows when to fall in line. Oh, it unlocked. Looks like you can go outside. <laughs> All right, let's go see. So I think I know what Halara is getting at. I think... I've kind of figured it out. But... Whoa. Here we are, outside. Using string, you hey, could manipulate you know more stuff. In the real world? Why do it again? Because it's important. Halara told me to check it twice. There must be an important clue outside that window. Hey, maybe the culprit threw the key in through the window. And that way, the key would be found inside. Are we going off the assumption that I didn't do the second one? The second well, case? How about that theory? Hold on. Is this the storage key? And you can't just throw it in this time. It's nailed to the doll. You can't fit the doll through. Only your fingers can make it through. Which means... Because of the culprit, what happened to the key? The freebie! I was that's... right. Just toss it in there, master. I don't think that's the case, though. The culprit threw the key inside? Is that really the right answer? Did the culprit throw the key in from the window? No, it's nailed down. And on a painting. I don't think that's it, Shinigami. I don't think I will. That's the right answer? Whew, I was gonna look really dumb if I was we're not gonna fall. Uh <laughs> How? Didn't the culprit throw the key in there? That's why the key was found inside, right? No, it's not that easy. It was it was pinned to the doll. You can't just <laughs> trick shot that. It's in horseshoes. That's you difficult. Know, the crime scene wouldn't end up like that if we threw it in. Yeah. The key was nailed to a painting. That's not possible if you just throw it into the room. Exactly. Oh, right. Hmm. But if the culprit didn't throw it in there, how is the key left in the room? We're about to figure that out. Hmm. If you can't nail the key after throwing it... Oh, oh gosh. Here we go. <laughs> oh, okay. Back inside. You're back. The key vanished. Hmm. The key is in my hand. We've got a doll and we've got a picture that we need to nail this to. Master! You got the doll and nail! The only way you would be able to do that is if you put the sharp end through the key first, and then stab the doll, and then the picture. I see. So you're supposed to recreate the locked room in the same way the culprit did. Exactly. Try it out. Doing so will create a new path. Yeah. I'm gonna solve this. I'm gonna do it. Good luck, Master! Thanks. Recreate the locked room. So yeah, the first thing we would need to do is stab the key, you stab the doll, stab the, the picture. Locked room mystery. First, do something about that doll. Okay. What about the key, though? Here's the painting. Seraph. 
five. Got nails in there. And she is completely bolted to the floor. All the blood is going each and every way, so. Steel ladder. Got nails in you too. First do something about the doll. can't just pull it out of my inventory, right? I gotta actually do something. Or maybe it wasn't always sitting there. You're trying to create the locked room. We have the key. How exactly do you want me to do something with the doll? <laughs> Or maybe it's in our inventory and we already know what to do with it. Painting? All right. First, take the painting. Okay. The painting up against the wall next to the window. Now the dawn of the painting, now the key to the painting. Interessante. Because yeah, none of these options have the key first. Now the doll to the painting, now the key to the painting. I It didn't look like you could go over... It, it only looked like you could go through the sharp part. So let's think about this. We prop the painting up against the wall next to the window. Then we could go outside and push something. Is that crazy? Wait, it's too early for that step. There are other things you have to do before stand. The key will okay. be nailed to the painting at the end. But you must nail something else on before that. Yep. I imagine Halar smacked me that time. Okay. So we're thinking too far ahead. So what do we do first? Nail the key to the painting or nail the doll to the painting? So if we nail the key, could we still... No, because it was above it. Let's nail the doll. The culprit nailed yeah. the doll onto the painting. Next, both were stood up at a certain location. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I completely forgot about the fact that there were two nails in the thing. Then we can go in and put the second nail. Okay. So I had the right idea. I just completely forgot that there was another nail. All right. Okay. Got any key information there, Halara? The painting with the doll nailed to it somewhere. Think the next step's over and figure. Yeah, then I would put it against the wall. How about you, Shinigami? So you nailed the doll to the painting. Then what? <laughs> Go on. And you prop it against the window. The painting was stood up facing the window. Now the part with the pierced doll is right next to the window. Okay. After that... So that's not how I imagined it. I imagined it the other way, but then again, yeah, I need to take a look at this. Okay, that makes, yeah, that makes sense. That's that's how you would do it. If it fell, it would be like that. Then you could stab the doll from the outside. You take the key, you lock the door, you go all the way around, and then you stab the key into the doll and that pushes it forward. Good stuff. We leave. Let's hope so. Then the culprit went outside. The door was locked, and they went to the other side of the storage room. That's right. 
random wall. Could be important, I don't know. But then we look through the window. I can see the painting and doll through the window, but I can barely fit my hand through the gap. Mm -hmm. The doll's got a nail in it, but the problem is that key in your hand, Master. Yeah, the culprit took the key and then... Thrown into the window. Imagine Shinigami told us that one. Nailed to the painting with the doll. Hung on a nail. Stuck in the doll. No, because there's no nail. We didn't put the second nail. We need to nail it to the painting and the doll. The culprit nailed the key to the painting along with the doll from outside the window. Right. Finally. Okay. Pulled out the nail stuck in the doll. Nothing else was necessary. So if this really was a, a locked room, lady's already dead. Now we need to make it look like a locked room. Yeah, you just knock it over. And this would look very suspicious if somebody walked in and it fell down. Knock the painting toward in the room. I pushed the painting into the room. It completes the locked room mystery. This is how the culprit did it. Okay. So again, that painting there with the nails was just to throw us off. Good stuff. Cool. It took some time, but you've reached the truth behind this locked room. I don't think it took as long as the last one. Throwing the key through the window would be obvious. <laughs> Isn't that right, Shinny got me? Yeah, yeah, it'd be too obvious. So to mislead us into thinking that was impossible, the key was nailed to a painting which was then pushed over. It's one thing for an amateur, but a detective wouldn't be tricked by this. But can we eliminate anybody out of this, though? Anybody could do this. I think the only one where we were able to eliminate anybody is the club. Seriously, only amateurs would get fooled by... Yeah. Wait, you mean me? <laughs> Back to it again, alrighty. Let's get right to it. Of course. What is it? You don't look very happy. <laughs> oh! Oh. One, somebody's dead. Two, I'm, I need to think, which hurts my brain. Oh, I was thinking about the locked room at the art gallery storage. I think anybody could have recreated. Oh, he was thinking what I was thinking. That's why he's so upset. Because, yeah, that doesn't eliminate anybody. We've only eliminated, eliminated one person. Agreed. Anybody can make a locked room mystery. The culprit, the nail man, anyone. Yeah, doesn't have to, pers I wonder, I wonder, there's no rule, there's no Monokuma rule that you can't have an accomplice. Now that's the scary part. Imagine all three of them were on it, excluding the, the bigger guy. Well, that's the thing, the bigger guy could be a part of it. Um, he could have done the art gallery trick. Well. What a tough locked room, but I'm sure the treasure will be worth the effort. Maybe we'll get like 10 solution keys. Yeah, ha, ha, I can't wait. Excellent. Hey, a treasure chest! Oh, who's gonna open this one? We should let the meanest one of us open it. You know, I would actually say Hlara. <laughs> How would you decide that? Right, just kidding. Like this? Oh. I wouldn't call that mean, I'd just say a little annoying. <laughs> I'm the meanest! Let's check out this treasure! Okay. Huh? What? What's wrong? Is there nothing inside? It's empty! 
empty. Well, they've always been empty, but now it's like actually it's empty, empty. Huh? Why? After all we went through to solve this locked room. This must mean solving the third locked room mystery doesn't necessarily bring us any closer to the ultimate truth. Right, we can't eliminate anybody. Could be anybody. That's terrible. I suddenly feel so tired. <laughs> Same, bro, but we gotta keep pushing on. Quits? We gotta keep going. Just kidding, everybody. I'm still actually very... I'm raring to go. That's it for all the locked rooms. We make a pretty good team. Don't you think so? Y yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what do we do from here? They're all free. Oh. I see. <laughs> the way forward is clear. It must be due to solving all of the locked room mysteries. Now let's go. Right. Again, I gotta ask. Who's supposed to be the protagonist here? Don't worry about it. Let's just do the thing. Time's a wasting. I'm glad that went fairly smoothly. I got smacked, but that's okay. This place is creepy. Don't be afraid to roll the dice. You must keep pursuing the truth. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Isn't that right? Yes. Okay. Now my concern is the three. They could all be in on it. They should know, find out. If we can eliminate any more. Oh, geez, here they are. Is this some dungeon? What is the meaning of this? Let me out of here. Chill, bro. Let me out. I'll kill your ass in the name of God. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say kill. <laughs> that doesn't help prove your innocence. I, I have nothing to do with the case. I I kinda believe that, but you could have done the art gallery I'm trick. The culprit. Let me go. You're just weird. Well, you might be the killer. Wow, they're all here. He's always the first one on scene, but he I'm wondering if they did it at different times and they're all in on it. So now we must pick out the true culprit of this case. It's all of them. The true just culprit. Just kidding, maybe, maybe not. Yuma. You solve all the locked room mysteries before you made it here. We've got four. We got four clergymen. We got four crimes. You should have all the clues and evidence you need to accuse the culprit. To be honest, when I first met you, I thought you were rather pitiful. Thanks. <laughs> you sure are honest. But my opinion of you has improved. These mysteries have brought you closer to becoming a true detective. There we go. Let's go. Thanks. Now tie up all the loose ends and prove that I am not mistaken about you. Right. With your logic, anything is possible. All right. I'll try. Oh, somebody's guilty. Oh. My heart's pounding. You gotta be kidding. Who's the culprit? Figured it out and hit him with a dramatic finger. <laughs> with a dramatic finger point, like Phoenix Wright. Make the right choice and reveal a new truth. All right. One of you's getting the dramatic finger. <sighs> Is there an option to choose multiple? Can I be the nail man? I, uh, I'm not the nail man. I, I'm not the culprit. You said culprit. He's the culprit. He said culprit instead of nail man. Oh, no, we have to think about it. I'm not the culprit. We can probably take a couple of slaps since we've been doing pretty well. Uh, how can I be the nail man? It's gotta be somebody slim. Eliminates this guy. I'm 
want the nail man. If we do only I'm choose not, one. I'm not, the, I'm not I'm not the nail man. You're injured. Where would there be an instance? Hold on. I can't. It's gonna be it's gonna have to be here and now. How can I be the nail man? I, I, I'm not the culprit! And he's always closing his eyes. I'm not the nail man. <sighs> Someone slim. Well, they're all pretty slim. But you're injured. If it does take a ridiculous amount of time for me to think things through, then I'll probably skip to the point where I'm starting to kind of figure it out. But let's think about this. She told us not to worry about her injury. You're always first on the scene. I, I, I'm not the culprit. I don't have much on you. I'm not the nail man. How can I be the nail man? I'm thinking these two. Sorry, fooling around. Hmm. Well, here's the thing. You know all the victims, but the nail man. she also could know all the victims. Any of them could. They know about the names. The injury could prevent you from being the nail man, as you need. Would you? Wait a second. Uh, I'm not the nail man. You said something about her. The nail man. She is dominantly right-handed. So in order to do a lot of these tricks, I'm trying to think of the most recent one. In order to climb a ladder, that would be pretty difficult to do with just one hand. Not impossible, but nailing everything up, killing somebody, but strangling them would take both hands, not just one. I guess you could, but it'd be a lot harder. Why wouldn't you just wait for your arm to heal and then commit the crimes? So, my suspicion is leaving you. You're all right. Not, you're too big. The nail man. You're right on your dominant hand's broken. Culprit. You're a suspect. I be the nail man. And same with you. Because a killing, in order for a killing to happen, it doesn't need. You're always at the scene of the crime. Do you self report, bro? After committing the crime, he would just head or call the police, and then they would be on the scene, right then and there. I, I don't have much on I this guy, though. Culprit. I'm probably forgetting a lot of details about this guy, and he's very strange. But he doesn't have direct ties to all of these cases. Now I just need to think. You were always there. You always knew who was being killed. Now I'm just trying to think of any contradictions. Him and, and someone else would go, he would tell somebody, and then they would find the body. However, you are not always, you never caught the nail man. Never, never. Even though you knew who was being killed, you always managed to be late. Why is that? You have the most suspicion to me. I don't have much, simply, you just have more than the priest guy. I think it's you. I don't know if that's just too easy, but a lot of my evidence points to him. I'm pretty sure. Let's give it a go. Huh? Oh, I lost health? Dang, son. Considering all the evidence gathered so far, only one person can be the nail man. Can we keep slashing until we figure it out? Okay. How can I be the nail man? I keep hearing male, man. So then I believe it's you. If... I still think you could be the other guy, but we're clearly wrong. But it's gotta be you then. Okay. The culprit is you, father. Wh what? That's an absolutely... Ridiculous thing to say. Interesting. Him again? Why won't he just give up? So now we need to tie him. It could be. I'm guessing that him grabbing somebody else and seeing the crime scene is his alibi, even though they were dead before he got there. He's the guy who calls people. You're saying the priest, a man of the cloth, is the culprit. That's impossible. It's not. How dare you spew such nonsense. Mm. Right! Do not make baseless accusations. Oh, we're gonna figure it out right here and now, man. The culprit man. has to be someone else. You I don't think so. Can I leave this to you? It's not a baseless accusation. You're the only one who could possibly be the culprit. Master, you're acting like a real detective! Go on and boom kill him! Oh, hold on a second. 
We need to figure out why. And he said he is the only one who could have. So there is evidence pointing directly to him. Oh. Right, bro. Let's rumble. I need to think back. Things that could only point to him. Things he said. Things he's done. I know we can eliminate the other two. Oh, he's got backup. Persons with access to the incinerator. Right. I'm a man of the cloth. Oh my gosh, that's right. I forgot about that point. It couldn't have been the other guy because he doesn't have access to the incinerator. And the other two, one, her arm is broken, the other is too big. So it, it only could have been you. Okay, I see where you're coming from, Yuma. Well, sure, okay. I can fast forward. Crazy. I'm not familiar. Okay. That's it! The first one to discover the body. The mailman is the worshiper! No. Let's listen to everything he has to say. I don't want to lose more health, but I think that's it. Okay, that's gotta be it. No worship, right? it's a police yeah. right? Yeah. No, I know what it is. We don't lose health by listening to everything. That's good. Fast forward. It's funny that they kept the squeak. I don't think that's right, my dude! And here's why. The rope ladder used in the clock tower's locked room was found in the incinerator, which only clergy can access. And now he's going to try and sell us that, well, there's two other people. The worshiper may be a regular churchgoer, but he's no clergy member. Mm -hmm. So he's no longer a suspect. Shut up! Shut up! I'm not gonna. Ridiculous. Here we go. Thin person. Right. A member of the church is the culprit? Even so, I am not the culprit. There are others working for the church. Let's just listen. I need to get that habit going. There's the servant. The servant must be the mailman. I slice that middle one. No, that right there is incorrect. This mystery. <sighs> You're finished, dude. Climbing up to the underground casino's window with only nails for footing would require considerable agility. Judging by the size of the window, there's no way someone of his size could have committed the crime. No, no, no! Absolute lies! You can't lie about his size, bro. Fishing line locked room. The nun must be. Okay. I might have made this a little too easy. Just kidding. But that's my strategy, is that you hold on to your points and you don't spend them all willy-nilly until you can figure out what ultimate ability you can have. Right now, this is key. I don't have to search through different ones and I don't have to guess. Later on though, I definitely will. There's gonna be a lot more because I only eliminate a couple. So, it'll get harder later on. But the fishing line. Placement implies that only someone full use of their arms could have fashioned this room. 
She's thin and also works at the church. The nun okay. was absolutely able to commit the crimes. Uh, that's actually wrong. Buddy? <sighs> the mansion studies locked room. The culprit tossed the key behind the corpse with perfect aim. Mm -hmm. With her dominant hand injured, the nun couldn't have done that. Which means she's not the culprit. Right, I've thrown stuff with my left hand before, and my gosh, I am terrible. Very terrible at throwing stuff. Of course, you could be ambidextrous and uh, be good with both hands. Period. And descent, it's... That uh, uh, could be the case, I don't know. But the guy, the gentleman, did tell us that she's dominantly right-handed and not ambidextrous. So, let's go off of that. It's not the churchgoer, the servant, or the nun. There's only one option left. Father, it's you. You are the nail man. Uh, hey, say something quick. <laughs> Otherwise... They'll pin me as the culprit. Um, well... <laughs> You're useless. Does he have nails as his little face art, too? Are those wrong? I am nails? a priest in service to God! <laughs> I am not the nail man! Your form says otherwise, buddy. All your proof is nothing but fantasy! Mm. You don't have a single piece of hard evidence! A hard evidence? But Master, you do! It's easy! Based on the facts, the priest must be the culprit. The decisive evidence that proves it is... Uh... I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? Don't panic. We'll figure it out. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Listen, a detective isn't an arbiter of justice. Unraveling a case is top priority, even with questionable methods. What do you mean? In short, you must get them to confess. Use everything in your arsenal, even if it requires bluffing. Bluffing! Something we learned about in Danganronpa 3. Use everything? Don't hesitate to use anything that might give you an advantage. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Always remember that. A bluff? In other words, I should just claim I have solid evidence. But what could I use as a bluff? This is a good question. Lying to get to the truth. Very interesting concept. But we're we're going to do it. Let's see here. Do we have bluff keys? New mechanic time maybe? Let's go. Murder case report. Suspicious footprints. They were wearing loafers. You were wearing loafers. Clock. Well, we could bluff about this. The report, well. Though nothing further could be determined. I think it would be the report. Suspicious footprints, even if we said, you're the one wearing lovers, you'd be like, I wasn't wearing any lovers at the time. But if the report... Let's see what he has to say. Enough with your stupid fantasies! Everything you say... Whoa. There's nothing but a fantasy! Even a fantasy, okay. Do you have any proof that I'm a culprit? Did you find my fingerprints? Did find you? his fingerprints. We could bluff about that. Let's keep going. You find my blood. 
find his blood. Fingerprints, blood. Fingerprints, blood. Because he knows exactly what happened. There's no evidence. Whoa. Oh, oopsies. I think it's that last one. Right? I'm thinking it's the report. Everything you say. There's nothing but a fantasy. I like the slashing, it's pretty fun. Did you find my fingerprints? No. Did you find my blood? I don't think so. Of course there's no evidence. Alright, here we go. No, that's not it. Blood? Fingerprints. In that case. We found the clock tower. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Not the report. The footprints. With your stupid fantasies. I see now. Everything Takes me a while, but we'll figure it out. Oh, also, I haven't used this. It's just a shield again. Okay. I'm gonna slash away at these. I'm protected. Did you find my fingerprints? Did you find my blood? Afraid not. Was there any blood? No. Of course there's no evidence. Now this! Of course. The blood about the uh the footprints. You left clear evidence at the clock tower's crime scene. There were footprints left under the window in the mud. When we inspected them, we found out... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He, you can see he's sweating a little bit. I, I gave my reason why I thought it was the report. But uh, let's see what Yuma thinks. They perfectly match your footprints. Impossible. I already burned those shoes in the incinerator. Oh, we just needed him to say something. <laughs> that's what we were going for. So if he was smarter, he could have been like, nah. -uh. You gave yourself away. Yeah. I'm always under the assumption that the culprit's going to be at their best. But sometimes that's not always the case. I I, I swear. I only enacted justice in the name of of God! Ah, uh, no you didn't, pal. Looks like it worked. Good job, Yumi. And so I'm imagining this is why they have to die, because we're not... We can't... We'd have to trick them in the same exact way. We'd basically just have to do everything twice. Thanks. God, I want is rotten to the core. To save it... Someone had to get their hands dirty. Thou shall not kill, you Nimrod. Those slain were the evil incarnate that harmed others. That's why the people asked the nail men to kill them. Evil must be punished. And so I strangled them, made them suffer. All I did. Evil. But you had to become evil yourself, bro. Wild. If someone hates somebody bad enough, they give that name to the nail man. And this priest went around killing those people as the nail man. The urban legend offered targets for murder. A priest is supposed to be the voice of God, but he went around killing people because someone wanted them dead. What is awesome! <laughs> it's 
It's terrible. It's insane to think that he'd kill people for a reason like that. That could be said about all murders. Insane people kill for insane reasons. But here's the thing, we didn't... We didn't punch his astral form out of his body. He was just a, an obstacle. Anyway, you did it, Yuma. My expectations of you weren't wrong after all. Was it really that easy? Is it finally over? Huh, nothing's happening. But last time... Hey, you remember Shinigami? You were all big. We smashed these fortresses and... Kicked the astral being out of, uh, zilch. Yeah, the soul of the true culprit who created this mystery labyrinth should appear. And since it didn't, it looks like this isn't over yet. Yeah. Huh? It's not over? There are still mysteries related to the nailman killings within this mystery labyrinth. But we solved all of the locked rooms and discovered the true identity of the nailman. Was I wrong? But the, the priest even confessed to it. Calm down, Yuma. There's no need to panic. If the nailman's identity is exposed and all mysteries are yet to be solved, then most likely someone else's agenda is involved in this string of killings. We still have the names, the specific targets. Someone else's agenda? Meaning the nailman didn't work alone. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, that's what I mentioned. I need to stop saying that's what I was thinking because it's completely unbelievable once somebody says it. You mean there's another culprit? But... Yuma, if you consider yourself to be a detective, you must see the truth through to the very end. No mystery concludes with a dead end. There is nothing we detectives cannot solve. Oh. All right. We have to review these killings from a different perspective. Yeah, and this ain't no tutorial. It could be anybody. So that means some of my previous theories. If any of them were hiding a mysterious secret, it would be the room that's obviously different from the others. Different? Somebody had... One person that's had a I slit on the back of their neck. Isn't that right? That's what you- Huh? Whoop. Sorry about that. Whoa. Oh, fine. I can't say no to you and you're so helpless like that. What did you say? There we go. That's what you- that's what you want, right? It wasn't really that important, but I- I go into thinking mode, and when I do, I put on my thinking face. And that means, you know, hand close to chin. And uh, every time I do that, I, I sometimes accidentally push a button. Sometimes I push a button. So my bad, guys. Okay, master. Lay it all out. There's four of them. Oh, but maybe I don't have to. All of them. Let's take a look at the keys, actually. There was something strange about one of them. One of them had a slit in the back of their neck, I remember. It wasn't you. It was you. Oh! Show the road. Wounds likely caused by resisting. In addition, there were thinner rope marks only visible on the back of the neck. Well, I think that's where we propped it. So when I was thinking that uh, we needed to prop him up, it didn't leave anything. It did. I just didn't remember the solution key, and I don't think I could check at the time. So these are the dolls. He gave me that. Key. 
cat, you were bashed on the back of the head. I was surprised I didn't come up when we were in the art gallery. Normally they died by strangulation. You're different. Art gallery. Three. There we go. Now we're gonna have to spell whatever it is, but it's on the barrel. Let's see what we can do about this. Okay. This locked room is different from the others because the victims... No, it's a fire. This is nail dolls on public information. Window gap, woman's corpse. Eat this. What do you have to say about this? Back of the female's corpse. It had blunt force trauma. Whoa. Hold on. No, it's wrong. I just I just keep going from the same message. Trauma wound hurt. Can't check it this time. The window gap. Because of the victims. Oh, I think I got it. Oh my gosh. Death, it's death. I'd like to solve the puzzle. Okay, okay, we're going for it. There we go. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Excellent, 13 seconds to spare. Okay. Interesting. But yeah, they're deaf. I was thinking wound, something with pain, to actually, but of course, their deaths were different. There it goes. Continuing onwards. Up. It seems to be a hidden passage. Hmm. If so, then the truth should be somewhere down there. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get it done. However, it's not going to be in this episode. I'm afraid this is all the time I had for this episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. This is crazy. But yeah, I'm thinking it could be multiple people. This is definitely a job that can be handled by multiple people. And just because you have the old man, you have you have the clergy, and you also have this weird guy. Four. That's the part that sets me off the most. You have four locked rooms, and you have four suspects. Very, very sus. But any guy, any guys. Anyway, without further ado, thank you guys for joining me. Um, this is getting crazy, and I can't wait to see it get even crazier. And uh, hey, guys, I'm Big Brother Five Thousand, and uh, I can't thank you enough for joining me on this adventure. Take care, everybody. Have an awesome day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.